All right, it's morning time. Heading out to Silverwood today. First time I've ever really been there. I was there when I was a kid once, but never really fished it. So uh, let's see if I can uh, figure this lake out. Whoop, got a strike. Seems to be going for a fast retrieve. Light moss. weed I've been getting some attention on this one here Let's see if he takes it feel stout. Might need the net for this. Whew. That looks like a good one. Yeah, not bad fish. There you go. Get a little run this morning. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Seems like he finally woke up a little bit.
You're fishy. There you go. Oh man, he looks pretty. Yeah, nice pound and a half probably, maybe even a two. Oh yeah, he's got a nice tail. That's a gorgeous fish. He's spunky too. Oh yeah, that thing is purdy. That is a purdy fish right there. Ooh -wee. There it is. That's a nice two pounder I'd say. Nice full tail. Let's get him on the stringer and get another one. Try throwing a spoon for a little bit. Woo! That's a good wind gust. The wind's coming through here pretty good, but it's it's not like it's unfishable. Of course, as long as it doesn't get any worse. died off a little bit well if you're wondering where we are we're uh, down from the launch ramp in a place called Miller Canyon and uh, it's a hike <laughs> uh, but it's worth it when you get down here it's a lot shallower and I think Due to the large striper population in this lake, the trout aren't dumb and when they get stalked or when they live in the lake for a while, they know the striper are out chasing them so they'll chase them or they'll end up down in these shallower waters a little bit. So it's always a good bet to head down this way. Now this is my first time here. Uh, but I want to give a shout out to uh, a YouTuber called the Urban Outdoorsman. He uh, does lots of videos up here in the mountains like Silverwood, Big Bear, Green Valley, all these lakes and um, if you wonder what my go-to video is, is uh, I go to his channel for info and updates and uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description but yeah he uh, he lays it down, I'll show you all the spots, where to go and all that kind of stuff so definitely uh, give him a look. Oh damn, that is a big bass. <laughs> wow. Whoa, that is a beauty. Damn, I'm shaking. Are you fishing for bass or fishing for trout? Bass. Oh, okay. This one was for bass. This oh one was for bass. My. Wow. We got the uh, drop weights, uh, drop shot? Drop shot, yeah, yeah. Trout. Oh, okay. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I got a scale if you want to weigh it. Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. Please. There, I'll bring it back. I don't want you to break your neck carrying that fish. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. It's about uh, 1030. I didn't have a lot of time today, so this is just basically a scouting trip since... This is essentially like my first time fishing here, even though I've been here years and years ago, but that was before I really know how to fish, so. Um, fish weren't going crazy, but I did get that real nice one. That was a really nice fish. Real happy about that, and uh, I, I love this lake. I mean, it's gorgeous. So, if you want to come up here, highly recommend you uh, 
check out the uh, Urban Outdoorsman channel. He's got a lot more in-depth information about the lake and how to get everywhere and the good spots to go to. Like I said earlier, I'll link uh, uh, his uh, YouTube site in my description so you guys can uh, can find it easy. But uh, it's a bit of a hike getting back into Miller Canyon. So with that, uh, remember to leave any questions or comments. Always like and subscribe. Uh, check out uh, my Instagram at Seaspanker Outdoors. And uh, we'll see you next time.